Garden Patriot High School, I'm Logan Russell. And I'm Volley Jamal. On October 5th, many high school students took the SAT. On October 16th, many high school students took the PSAT. And on October 26th, many students will take the ACT. Whoever you are, chances are you'll be going through a standardized test. Well, generally, you take the SAT and ACT in the spring of your junior year and fall of your senior year, you can take the test earlier if you feel ready and can afford it. While many students don't take the SAT or ACT if they have plans other than college, every freshman, sophomore, and junior who is present on PSAT day will be taking the test. Having all these tests can cause a lot of stress among students. Studies show standardized testing can lead to increased stress, negative effects in the classroom, and decreased sleep. Despite this, standardized tests are a fact of life and we must learn to deal with them. As stressful as it can be, there are a few ways to prepare. First off, while it might be obvious, you should study. This isn't a quiz for a random class. You can't just wing it. Remember to study. Both tests have a number of resources for practice. You can practice online or even with a tutor. That being said, do not overexert yourself. If you study to the point that you become sleep deprived or your grades suffer, your work will be for nothing as sleep deprivation will affect your score and colleges won't care about a good score if your overall performance tanks. The morning of the test, eat a good breakfast, maybe a little more than just a bowl of cereal. You need to be at your best and feel free to bring a snack or water with you for in between breaks. Also, don't forget your test ticket and a photo ID as you would not be allowed to take the test without them. Finally, remember that this is not the end of the world. Many schools are score optional and you can opt to not have your scores factored in. The ones that require test scores won't rely on the scores alone. Your GPA, essays, and a number of other things determine whether you are accepted in or not. Remember these things as you are testing. Remember that you can take these tests multiple times and remember that your test score does not define who you are as a person. I'm here with Gabby Reynolds. Mr. Haley. Titus. Christopher Schiebel. Kaylee. What standardized tests have you taken? I have taken some SOLs. Uh, I've taken a lot of standardized tests for each one of my classes and every time I do the same thing so that way I can get the, the best grade possible. And how do you do pre prepare for those tests? Uh, I have a study method where I like to study two days before in advance so that way I can sleep on it and just review the little things and the things that are most important and then the next day I really just hanker down and study what I need to so that way the next day when the test comes I'm ready. Passive absorption. What mistakes did you make that pioneers should avoid? Uh, I didn't get enough sleep, I didn't study, and I didn't relook at my answers. Uh, before I started doing that study habit, I liked to study the day of the test, and that was not a good idea. We're cramming the night before, it doesn't work. And what advice would you give students taking standardized tests? Don't study the, night, the day before, or five minutes before the class, because you're not gonna do well. And if you do well the first time, you don't have to retake it, so it's less stress for you. I hate them. What's your advice? Uh, you should try your best on them, but they're not really helpful. They're not, okay. Look at your answers and sleep and study and, and listen in class. Uh, I would just study the night before and that's about it really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Advice on taking tests, I'd say there's at least two major things you gotta do. Number one, you make sure you don't study at the last minute. Like, just studying like five minutes, like every day leading up to it is so much better than studying for like an hour the night before. Like you'll get much better benefit from that. Okay, um, what shouldn't your students do on a test? Uh, cheating's probably a bad one and not following the directions would be number two. Fall asleep during it. Fall asleep? Do you fall asleep during tests? Yeah. You do? Okay. What shouldn't you do? Yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't rush through the questions. I would look at everything really closely and slowly. Just take your time. Okay. What are some dumb things you do on tests? Um, do non-educated guesses. I think you can guess pretty well for every question. Like put an educated guess down at least. So when you're rushing through things at least do something like logical. Don't put a random number down or something like that. So that's something dumb you would do. Like just go, just take your time. Right? Um, 
Guess. Guess? Okay. What are some dumb things that your students do on tests? Cheating and not following directions. Cheating and not following yeah. directions? And now for your regular announcements. Seniors, November 1st is the final chance to have your senior portrait taken. Please sign up in the front office for a time. Underclassmen picture retakes and makeups will be November 1st. Stay tuned for more details next week. Hey Patriot students, are you interested in scholarships for college? Are you a current sophomore, junior, or senior? Have you completed at least one tech ed business or fax class with an A? Is your overall GPA 3.0 or better? If you answered yes to all of these questions, then apply for National Technical Honor Society. This recognition is for you. Get info and applications from Mrs. Denham or Mrs. Jet McVie in room 1216. Final deadline to apply is November 1st. Attention, Governor's School Candidates for the Japanese Academy. Essay testing will take place in RM. 2005, Miss Blazik's room on Thursday, October 31st at 2.15 p.m. We look forward to seeing you there. Attention, Signet Seniors. Please check your Patriot Gmail accounts, that's your PatriotHS.com emails, for your passes for the senior seminar being held in the greenhouse on Monday, October 28th and Tuesday, October 29th. Passes are only being distributed through email, so please make a point to check it. Remind your Signet friends to do the same. If you are having trouble accessing your PatriotHS.com account, please come by the greenhouse so we can help resolve that issue. Thank you. Patriot High School's fourth annual Poetry Out Loud competition will take place after school on November 19th. We will be holding after school practice sessions on November 6th, 7th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. Students interested in competing should stop by room 1110 to sign up. See your English teacher for more details. For WPHS-TV, I'm Paige Bear. And I'm Tyler Patterson. And have, have a, a great, great day, day, Pioneers. pioneers.